second now. The cannon has gone, day 312, about 25 past three on April the 22nd. It's almost 50 years since Robin Knox Johnston completed his pioneering non-stop solo circumnavigation of the planet in the Sunday Times Golden Globe race. And Robin Knox Johnston and Sue Haley have sailed non-stop around the world. The media compared it with the first landing on the moon a few months after his return. There are still fewer people who have sailed solo around the world today than have orbited the planet. 25 years later, during a climbing expedition with British mountaineer Sir Chris Bonington, the initial concept of the Clipper race was born. The pair discussed how much it would cost to climb Mount Everest and how many people took on the challenge. The sailing equivalent for Sir Robin was clear. Crossing the world's toughest oceans in a circumnavigation of the planet. But not for an elite few. These would be everyday people with a sense of adventure. I wanted to share it. I wanted everyone to have the opportunity to have that same experience. And so, in October 1996, in the spirit of the competing tea clippers a century earlier, the first race set off from Plymouth to catch the trade winds. They will be sailing on new, state-of-the-art 68-foot yachts, fastest and most advanced of their kind. Thousands have followed as the fleet and route have grown over the years. The Clipper Round the World Yacht Race is now unique. It's the greatest ocean adventure on the planet. Twenty years from now, you'll be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the ones you did. So throw off the bow lines, sail away from the safe harbor, catch the trade winds in your sails, explore, dream, discover.